So I told you guys that uh, what was going to happen is there's going to be a lot of propaganda on Afghanistan. Biden says he wants to get fully out. There's an open question as to whether or not he's going to get fully out or he's going to just take the troops out and leave the contractors and the special ops and those people there. Putting that issue aside for a second, either way, whether he's just pulling out the boots on the ground troops or pulling out everybody, either way, the media is against it. And they're going to do the bidding of whoever their sources are at the Pentagon or the CIA or the deep state or the uh, defense contractors. They're going to have people whispering in their ear, hey, this is a terrible thing. I have a story for you. You want to cover it? And then they tell them, oh, everything on the ground in Afghanistan is bad and it's so bad because we're getting out and we need to stay. So right on time, right on time, we have propaganda for us to stay in Afghanistan. The Washington Post says, it's all Taliban country now. New militant checkpoints on key roadways choke off parts of Afghanistan. Here we go. So, they fearmonger in this article and they say, Ugh, oh, it used to be the case that you could drive from one place to another place and the government would be in control of the area. And now if you try to drive from one place to another place, there's Taliban checkpoints and so the country is falling to the Taliban, and they're trying to make it seem like that's because we're withdrawing this has happened. Hello? This is happening. Hello? Now, what they don't tell you is this. Over 50% of Afghanistan was controlled by the Taliban even while we were there. When we invaded Afghanistan in 2001, the Taliban controlled less of the country than it does today. So even with us being there for decades, the Taliban gained territory and gained territory and gained territory. So obviously us being there was not this magic bullet. That's not the saying, is it? It's silver bullet, right? It's not this silver bullet. Magic bullet's the thing that killed JFK. Anyway, uh, it's, not, it's not this cure-all if we just stay there, everything would be okay. Actually, if we just stayed there, we would be there and you and the Washington Post and all these other outlets wouldn't make a big deal out of the fact that the Taliban controls over 50% of the country. It only became a story now because we're leaving and you want to do propaganda to keep us there because you're doing the bidding of your sources who want to keep us there. And so now, all of a sudden, it's a huge problem. Oh, checkpoints all over, Taliban all over. Why don't you tell the story of how the people we aligned ourselves with in Afghanistan are warlords. And the warlords have child sex slaves. And when our own soldiers blew the whistle on the child sex slaves and the warlords, they were kicked out of the military. Why don't you tell that story? We need to make sure the Taliban doesn't control all these regions so we can give the regions back to the child fucking warlords. You want to make that deal? Is that a good deal? Do you support that deal? I don't think I support that deal. I don't think I like that. See, now, so here it is. I told you it was coming and here it is. They don't even tell you that the Taliban controlled over 50% of the country when we were there. They don't even, they don't even say it because that would undermine their point of, oh, now everything's going to shit because we started the withdrawal. So what are we doing? We got to stay in there. Expect it more and more, man. I told you there's going to be a thousand things in the media about how it's stupid, it's wrong, it's dumb, it's, it's dangerous. It's all these things if we get out of Afghanistan. The endless, there's going to be, oh, women's rights are degrading back to the Stone Age. Oh, no. We need to stay there. That's always going to be the implication. When we were there, the Taliban still controlled most of the country. When we were there, our allies were warlords. We're not even there for freedom and democracy. That's not even the reason we're there. We're there because it's profitable for the military industrial complex and we can get trillions of dollars. We have access to trillions of dollars of mineral wealth. That has a lot more to do with it. It has more to do with the new Cold War with Russia and China. We want control of that region. So... It's not going to stop. The propaganda is going to keep coming and so many people are going to fall for it. And they're going to think, oh, I guess we have to go back in. They, and notice, they always just change the reason to, as why we're there. 
Oh, to get Osama Bin Laden. Oh, he's dead. Oh, to get Al-Qaeda. Okay, there's not many Al-Qaeda there. Oh, to, uh, women's rights, something. Why don't you want to... Saudi Arabia is one of our top allies. We give them money and weapons. Don't you want to fix human rights with our allies before you get to somebody who's not an ally? You have more sway over Saudi Arabia than you do over what's going on in rural Afghanistan. Uh, women's rights, I say women's rights, women's rights, I meant, uh, freedom and democracy. Okay, well, it's not a freedom and democracy. Okay, um... Alright, I have no other reason but just shut up and let me stay there. We need to stay there so we could do things like the Kunduz hospital bombing where we killed civilians. That's why we need to stay there. We need to make sure that if any civilians are being killed, it's us doing it, not the Taliban. Then we'd feel better, right? Then we feel better at the end of the day. Ugh. The propaganda is not going to stop. There's going to be endless articles about how it's crazy that we're getting out of Afghanistan and see what's happening now. They're fear-mongering about Taliban checkpoints in Afghanistan, where, by the way, they admit it's like one or two Taliban members, right, at each checkpoint. They're fear-mongering about that. We don't even have clean water in Flint, Michigan. But they want you to read this story and the takeaway to be, we should stay in Afghanistan forever. It's absurd.